This hot rod is sitting in limbo and waiting for the boy to do a bunch of work on her. To which he has started. He's uh, being proactive here, so he's going to be replacing all the seals and bearings and doing all that jazz. Uh, he's got to order some new drums. He's waiting for some e-brakes to come in. He's kind of doing the same. He's, this is his whole front end kit that he got. I think this is like an eBay thing. He was saying. So this is all ripped apart. <clears throat> and he's going to redo the seals in there. Put all new bushings, tie rods, track bar, like everything. He's going to be swanky new. So kind of waiting for him to finish on that before we uh, continue plugging away at the truck here. So once that's done, then we're going to bolt the cab down. I do have the transmission up and in. Um, we figured out what the transmission mount is, so we got to make that. He has sourced out some uh, some drive shafts. Now they are not from the diesel. This is the rear shaft off the diesel, and these are the ones he's got. But the U joints, everything all look like they're the same size. So we'll run the shafts. I really doubt he's going to spin these. Usually it'd be a U joint or something you'd wreck, unless like. A dry shaft had a kink or something weird in it, then that would probably cause it to break. But uh, but he's got that his hanger brush. So he's got a few, a lot of the bits he's missing. We're gonna have to shorten the shaft from the transmission. This one, similar to the way I did on the general, I guess, because we did move the motor back. But when we get a little closer, when I can actually get it close to the ground that we can do something, uh, that'll be a bonus. <laughs> so, anyways. That puts me into a free spot here. And I'm kind of on the fence what I want to work on. Whether you actually want to bring in that convertible at GMC again. Because, you know, that was kind of a filler for me. I kind of have a hankering to sort of work on that sedan delivery or that panel wagon. So I'm thinking that's my tomorrow's plan is I'm going to go dig that thing out. Uh, my list of bits that I have for it is I got a Dakota front end. So I'm going to try that. Uh, mostly because I have it. It's a rack. I don't know. It'll be a better fit for the body than an S10. Because the S10, you have to run reverse wheels and do all kinds of weird junk. Otherwise, the front wheels always look too tucked in on there. So, I have a Dakota front end. I'm going to try it. And I have some Ford rear ends, so that'll work out for the back. I have an original chassis for that truck. So, that is what I'm going to use under it. Uh, but anyways, tomorrow I'm going to go grab all that stuff and I'll kind of get started mucking around with that thing. Should be a pretty quick build. Well, I'm not sure. Not sure if I'm feeling the, uh, the Roadster or I actually want to do a little bit of work on this thing right now. <clears throat> well, I shouldn't say that. I'm actually going to do some work on that. <laughs> uh... I don't dig this 4x4 thing going on though, so it's most likely going to get a chassis swap again. Uh, but I do have uh, an original chassis. Not for this style of truck, but I do have an original chassis. I mean, there's a lot of work been done to this truck to, <clears throat> to fit this combo, but the problem with it is uh, this frame is like super rusty under here. So, I don't really want to use it. And the motor seized, and there's so much going wrong with it. <clears throat> I'm not very happy the way it's mounted, so, yeah. Gonna switch it up. It's on like a 90s chassis. But, uh, she's not very pretty. So, I'll swap her out, put an original chassis underneath. I have a Dakota front clip, so I know that seems odd, but I'm going to use that uh, just because of the width. I really hate the uh, the S10 clips. They do weird stuff. I'm not happy with them. So, that is the plan. I'm going to clip the other chassis, drag this in, pull this one out, and uh, we'll go from there. 
So here's the clip I'm going to use. <clears throat> I'm not a fan of the weird six bolt, but I'm going to, uh, you can change those hubs out and get the uh, five bolt uh, rotors. So I'll probably do that. It does have a rack. Uh, the reasoning I'm going to use the Dakota though is because it's quite a bit wider than the S10. It's not as wide as a Camaro clip, but it's not as wide or as narrow as an S10. So it's a perfect in between. Uh, so with the rack and I don't know, you don't have any weird stuff happening in the front of the truck. So that is my reasoning for it. Uh, I've just kept it for just that. So I'm going to get this in. I'm going to scab off some of the junk off front. And then I got to go get uh, my original frame or an original style frame. So... And that's something I acquired, so I'm just going to uh, use it. I have some S10 frames that I could clip and things, but they're just quite a bit wider. Overall, I think the look of the truck will be better, and I wouldn't need to put any weird wheels on it. I can kind of keep a stock looking something. If I go with the 5 bolt, I have a bunch of Ford diffs that I could use, so... I have uh, this chassis. Which I gotta pull the box and get all this stuff out of here. But this is probably the original chassis that would have been underneath that uh, that panel van. So I want to get the box off. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it, but get the box off. Then the frame's clean, and then I can. So I'm gonna start with this frame, and then I can bob the front. I can get the uh, clip situated in there uh, just because I know the wheelbase is right so as long as I get the wheels in that vicinity I might move it just a hair ahead because these old trucks the wheel always sat forward in the back although I can't change that much but I do want to change the bring the front up a little bit to get that centered nice and then uh, start bolting her back down should work okay Seeing how this front end's already got its own share of problems. <laughs> she don't need to be on there then. Box is the only thing I got on bolt. And I think she's partially there already. Too bad, it's got a cool dump. Check that thing out. She's got a nice hand pump. There's the reservoir. That is such a cool setup. But yeah, I think that's going to be the plan. Now to get it out of here, that's the second part.
Well, I know I'm kind of all over the place. I'm kind of on the fence with this thing. It, uh, it's crunchy under there, but it's not terrible. It's doable. I don't know. I think a lot of the work has been done to this thing. Like you can see somebody's basically trying to run all the GM stuff. So, whatever. It's not a big deal. That's okay. They kind of got the steering column mounted. It's set up as a stick, a 4x4. I'm pretty sure I stole the clutch pedal out of it, but I'll, I can always redo that. Uh, kind of on the fence. I know the motor's junk, but we could always put an LS in it. Because these small blocks are just stinking hard to find around here. So, there's that. You know, it's kind of a little butch, but he has kind of set up the HVAC in there, sort of. <laughs> we can work with it. I don't know, I'm kind of on the fence here. I totally wanted to axe it all, but now I'm like, I don't know. Now it's got to come ahead a wee bit, because it's not lined up well in the back. I think the body's not fully mounted properly right now. I know they moved the diff back to get the wheelbase correct. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. You know, as weird as this is, this might be a not bad driver. I'm not really into them, but I'd rock it for a bit. Why not? So I still have my running boards left over that I didn't use from the General, which I stole the set that did belong on here, so we'd have to revamp that. But I kind of think this thing would be cooler as a 4x4. Something this big slammed down, I don't know. I'm kind of, yeah. I think it would just look good lifted up. Well, I wouldn't lift it much beyond this. It would just be a functional truck for somebody, right? Reliable, modern. They're not my cup of tea. I wouldn't mind bringing it down a little bit, just so the frame isn't exposed underneath. That'd be my only peeve. I'd work on that. But yeah. So I'm not sure what he did with the wheelbase, if it's right or wrong. I would try to get this kind of centered up. I would just cut all of this off because it's not necessary. Yeah, not too sure. I'm uh, starting to shift gears here now that I pulled it out again staring at it. Plus, it's not really, I'm not really building it for myself. I think I'm going to build this one to flip at some point. I mean, I am going to drive it a bit. Like, that's how I pay myself for doing this. <laughs> Somebody's got to work all the bugs out of it, right? So, this would all work. The only problem with these trucks is the fronts are so wide. I'm not a fan of this, where the wheels stick past the fenders. But the way a lot of guys do it is uh, we pretty much just cut and widen this front fender. Come up here, do a little slice across, down. We could bring this fender out to cover the wheel nicely. The back, for some reason, they always cover well. I don't know why. You can run full-size diffs in there and never have a problem. So, we'll see. We will see. I think we got into the uh, peel and stick stuff years ago. Before I owned it as a joke. Now the joke's on me. <laughs> now I gotta clean it up. Ugh, come on. There we go. Now I think originally the floor was cut out because the idea is we wanted to lower it some more, so we might keep going with that theme. I don't mind the four-wheel drive. It would be nice if it sat stock height. Four-wheel drive. Standard. That's kind of cool. <clears throat> but I'm not married to that. I could just well put an automatic in it. I don't know. I will see. Let's see how it goes here. Maybe the plans will completely derail and change yet, but for now... I think I'm going to push it in and have a better look at it. And maybe we won't use the go two-wheel drive. Let me know what you think. I mean, regardless, I'm going to bring it in the shop. I'm going to lift it up, have a better look at everything. 
see how far off we are with the wheelbase. Uh, like clearly this guy has moved stuff. I'll show it. Uh, like he unbolted the spring perches and he had moved it down the frame. So this is really not anything back here supporting the back of this thing. So I'd probably add two sticks of rail behind there just to support the back of the cab. May not be necessary, but I'd rather have that. But she's not bad for rust or anything. We got a little bit here. There's a lot on the other side, same thing. So this is a little weak, but that's a pretty easy one to fix. Yeah. yeah. Well, anyways, I'm gonna get her in the shop and uh, we'll have a better look. Well, it has been a while since I've been under here. This used to belong to a friend of mine. And we kind of horse traded and I got it from him. Uh, so, uh, I think what all happened was somebody had moved. This is probably who knows what kind of a chassis. You know, a half ton chassis, but somebody clearly just moved everything back. Um, I think it was semi-mounted, but I'm not happy the way the mounts are made and stuff. So I'm going to redo a bunch of this stuff. So I think the original one, I don't know if the body was that far ahead. I don't think so. Seems weird if it was, but you can't deny that the mounts were there and it looks like it was bolted up. Sure looks like it. So anyways, I believe the story was he wanted it lower, so we started mucking around with it. And then I had a better body that suited what he wanted to do, or a pickup truck, so we kind of horse traded. So anyways, here it is. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna try to make this work. Uh, I think the general census is we're gonna leave it four by four. But uh, everything's pretty stuck and tight, so I'm going to need a lot of parts. I know that. Nothing major. These were and still sort of are a common truck, but they're kind of... they kind of gotten high up in value now. People want them. So it's got a 5-speed, which is kind of cool. The motor's roached. So I'm going to see if I have another one or I can stick something else in it. It is fuel injected. There was a tank. Got to see if I still have it. Uh, the feller had a new tank, new brake lines. Like they did a bunch of work, the other fella. Whoever had it before, my friend. So, but she's pretty crunchy. Nothing holy though. It's just, just a, a good case of flake going on here. So anyways, I'd like to lower this some more. I'd like, because the running boards run up to this edge. So I'd like to see if I can drop this a couple inches. As much as I can. Uh, looks like it's doable, other than... Uh... Well, it's not even bad. Like, they put the hump of the transmission in, but it's like right, for some reason, the firewall they didn't touch. You can see, right? Maybe you can see right there. If we notch that out, we're okay. I might have to lift the floor up a little bit here to clearance around the transfer case, but that shouldn't be a big deal. Then at least, you know, if I can get another three inches, 
three inches? Yeah, three inches isn't bad. If I can go like the four and I get this thing right to here, that'd be pretty awesome, but yeah, I don't know. A little off by the, maybe it was right, I don't know. Maybe it did sit on those mounts, I don't know. But I'm thinking I'm gonna make new mounts because those are just, I don't know, they don't seem very strong. I had a feel they're not very strong. doing yet <laughs> I think what I got to do is try to lift the body up and see what's going on here see if I can figure out where this wheelbase should be or what this feller's plan was when he had it I'm gonna mount it where his body mounts are but I don't feel it's right uh, but I can't push that back anymore I'm thinking the dude started off with the wrong wheelbase totally So he's moved the spring perches back, we know that. Now we can loosen the U-bolts and kick the diff back a little bit. That's a doable option. Oh. Just to try to correct this wheelbase to make me happy anyways. Yeah, it doesn't look like the feller did anything with that. Uh, that said, I'm gonna probably need some new U-bolts. Gonna need a lot of new stuff with this thing. But anyways, that'll make a nice vehicle for somebody, so it's not a big deal. All right. Well, let's lift away and see what happens here. Well, I kind of disconnected all the wiring. I'm uh, trying to work with the weirdness that's going on here. Um, yeah, I don't know. Basically, I'm just going to lift the body off and see what's going on because some things just aren't making sense to me and I want to see what I'm working with here because the wheelbase is kind of weird. I don't know. There's just a lot of stuff going on and uh, hopefully I can make some sense of this. So <clears throat> uh, I'm going to loosen my brake lines because, well, this one's got a fitting on here. Which is to a new line, so I'll deal with that one. This one is, it's okay, but it's kind of crunchy. I might just cut them and deal with it. Uh, it's up here. I'll see if I can loosen it off. Everything just seems super crunchy on this thing, so I kind of want to take everything apart and have a look, see how things are all mounted up and yeah. Anyways, enough Gavin, we're gonna lift her up. Well, this is what we got. And the more I keep staring at it, the amount of work that a guy's got to do to make this all usable is not getting me pumped. <laughs> uh, so here is my dilemma with the body mounts. They were all kind of just weird stuff. Like this is not a very acceptable body mount as far as I'm concerned. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Well, I'm thinking I might switch gears. And uh, 
still keep it 4x4, four four, but let's bring the whole thing into the 2000s or something, maybe. I'm going to have to uh, see about another different donor chassis. This thing's kind of kind of crap to start with, I think. Like, everything is just so crusty. I'm really starting to second-guess myself on this one. I think by the time I muck with it all, I'm going to have about as much into it as I would, like, a newer chassis. And realistically, i got to start all over, I think. Making all my mounts and stuff anyways. So, we just might switch gears. Boy, eh? it's a lot of work. This stuff. <laughs> yeah, purse. Well, I got the choice. I can do that. I'm going to see what I got for donors. I think that's going to be the plan. Because I'm not digging what this thing is. I don't like how big the kick is. There's a lot of things I don't like here. I could put new sticks in, but... The price of steel, I can almost buy a truck for what it would cost me to put new sticks in the back there. So, like that motor's junk. I don't know any story on the transmission. I don't know anything. Uh, the motor, I know, is tight as heck, so she's no good. So, yeah. I'm going to see what I can find for a donor. And uh, we're going to go from there. So, I guess... What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this one at that because I got to go hunt and find some stuff. This video is kind of going off track all over the place, eh? <laughs> I've gone from four-wheel drive to two-wheel drive. No, two-wheel drive to four-wheel drive. I don't know. I don't even know where I'm at now. All I know is I was going to use this chassis and now the more I'm staring at it, it's friggin' rough. I don't know. I think by the time I rebuild everything on it, I am financially just, this is a disaster. <laughs> but anyways, I think financially I'm better off just grabbing one of the kid's trucks, buying one of those off of him that run and drive, and then take the, the chassis and the powertrain, use it under here. I'm pretty determined to keep this as a four-wheel drive, but she's going to not be crazy high. I don't want to, I guess... If somebody else wants to, they'll be able to put a lift kit and do whatever they want to do, but I don't. I think I'd rather it look stockish to a little bit lower, but four-wheel drive, functional. That's my kind of my game plan with this one. But, uh, yeah. Again, I guess, sorry it's a, not a great video, but I'll, it'll be better on the next one. <laughs> Anyways. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Later.